On July 9, 1947, an alien spacecraft containing loads of aliens and alien technology crash landed back in Roswell, New Mexico. But then the government decided to take them into Area 51, so that way they could not. They must know! They must know! Is that that guy again? I swear, if you spit my cop. Turn it, turn it off. So, can Cuba be a country if it's an island? Can an island be Cuba with this country? All these controversial questions and many others will be answered today. Cuba. It is an island country in the Caribbean. It is also one of the last remaining communist countries that include Laos, Vietnam, North Korea, and China. China, making everything he owns since, um, forever. It is being led by Fidel Castro's brother, Raul Castro Ruz, who was handed power over Cuba in July 2006, since there was something rather gross in the digestive system of Fidel Castro. Pepto-Bismol, keeping dictators well since 1919. There are many goods in Cuba. But the main ones are potatoes, sugar, tobacco, citrus, rice, potatoes, cassava, tropical fruits, and potatoes! In Cuba, the official language is Spanish, or Espanol as the natives would like to call it. Some speak English and some speak a little bit of slang, but mostly Spanish, mostly Spanish. Cuba's largest industries are sugar, petroleum, construction, nickel, steel, cement, agricultural machinery, pharmaceuticals, and tobacco. Tobacco, slowly killing dictators, one puff at a time. In Cuba, the whites are leading the race race with about two-thirds of the population. In second place, we have the mestizos and the mulattoes, the brown ones, with about one-fourth of the population. And rounding at the end within the close race is the blacks at 10%. Havana, a black ops man where I once got 55 kills and zero deaths. It was great. I got the dogs and everything. Oh! And it is also the capital of Cuba, a major port, and a province with about 2.1 million inhabitants. It was established 1515 and not given its city status until 1559. Thanks to it, I could prestige twice. The main religion in Cuba was Roman Catholic, which about 85% of the population practiced. But all this changed once Fidel Castro went into power. Hundreds of Catholic schools were shut down and religion was prohibited on the island. But in 1991, the Communist Party lifted the prohibition. There's about 11 million people on the island. It's hard to believe that there's more Bieber fans than there are people in Cuba. The majority of the population is females between the age of 15 and 65, so it is most definitely not a sausage fest. The average age on the island is 38, which means that there are a lot of men on the island that are going through a midlife crisis and there are no sports cars to buy. This is because of the 1962 embargo that the United States placed on Cuba, effectively cutting off trade between the two countries. So in conclusion, Yes, Cuba can be a country if it's an island. And islands can be Cuba, but they are countries. Join us next time when we visit New Orleans. Aliens! And they have no studio! Why? They must not! It is being led by Fidel Castro's brother, Raul Castro Ruz, who was given power over Cuba in July 2006, and said there was something raunchy with Fidel Castro's insights. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see it again. I don't have much to say. Okay. After a while, I'm just rambling on. Okay. The mother of all Cuba. Cuba. Can it really be a country if it's an island? Island. Can it really be Cuba if it's a country? <laughs> island. Can it really be Cuba if it's an island? <laughs> I think rather raunchy with the digestive system of Fidel Castro. <laughs> it is being led by Fidel Castro's <laughs> Fidel Castro's brother. Go. <laughs> Go. It was handed power over Cuba July 2006, since there was something rather gross in the digestive system of bro. <laughs> okay. Catholic schools were shut down. 
and religion was prohibited on the island. But then the Soviet. <laughs> Why Soviet? Go, one more, go. Oh, it's Fresno. It is being led by Raul Castro's brother, Fidel Castro. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Go on. It is being led by Fidel Castro's brother's Rus. <laughs> <laughs> and religion was prohibited on the island. But all this changed in 8, 1991, once the Soviet. What? I have nothing to do with this. Communist. <laughs> Communist, 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 communist! Okay. Mason. <laughs> Let's take that out. Cuba's largest industries are sugar, petroleum, steel, magnesium. <laughs> okay, okay. Gold. This is what we're gonna do. Uh, don't give, just give me a paper, just like. No, just do this. The main religion in Cuba was Roman Catholic, which about 85% of the population practiced. But that was all before Fidel Castro went into power. No, no it wasn't. What was it then? <laughs> That's not how you said it. Okay, <laughs> the main religion in That Cuba all changed. That all changed. What? <laughs> potatoes! 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 Scream! Potatoes! And potatoes! And potatoes! And potatoes! Go like that. And potatoes! <laughs> was placed on religion on the island but in 1991 the communists <laughs> you know forget it just forget it all forget all this forget it all <laughs> <laughs> it's over it's over it's over, it's over. <laughs>